Hey everyone, welcome to Jensen DIY. Well, today uh, we got the 75 gallon water heater that I pulled out last week, uh, put a new one in, and um, we're gonna find out what's in this thing. I'm gonna cut it in half. We're gonna see what's going on. This one, when it came out, was way heavier than the new one that I put in. And I don't think it's just because they used to make things better in the old days. This is about a 18 year old water heater, but I can't see the new one being that much lighter. So I have a feeling that this is full of sediment. So we're gonna cut it open and uh, have a look. Let's get to it. fun. Time for the big reveal. Let's have a look. Are you ready? So there it is. We're going to let that air out for a bit. Okay, there they are. The two halves. Look at that though, eh? That's the bottom element right there. And that sediment, there was a couple inches of water in here that I dumped out. This uh, screwdriver made is four inches, so. That's still not going, yeah. It went right to there. So that's about four and a half inches of sediment here. Look at that. It's no wonder there was still a little bit of water in here because the drain is here. So no wonder it took so long to drain as well. It's just full of this. There goes my glasses, nice. So, but yeah, almost completely covered the bottom element. So, um, and they were complaining that they weren't getting as much hot water. That's the reason. This tank wasn't actually leaking, but it's uh, a fairly old tank. So they decided they wanted to change it. But yeah, look at that, eh? Just. It's almost like clay. And then we got the top here. You can see how clean it is down in there. A little bit of a little bit of scale here. But um, so here we got our top element. And then this is our cold fill tube, which looks in nice shape. Cold water comes in this way and all the way down and it fills into the bottom of the tank. And then here's the anode rod. You can see that it's uh, been doing its job. When you first put them in, they're about this size. And then those minerals that would normally corrode the inside of the tank attack this, just like you'd have a boat zinc on a boat that's used in salt water. Same idea. Attacking the metal on the boat or the metal on the inside of the water heater here, it attacks this instead. This has probably been changed in its lifetime because it doesn't look too bad compared to some that I've seen. This water heater uh, was bring a well so um, that could be the reason there's so much sediment in there because it was uh, well water. Well, that was fun, eh? That was interesting. Uh, now we know what's in a water heater. So that's why it weighed so much more because of all that sediment in the bottom. I had a suspicion that's what it was. It sounded like there was a bit of water in there, but I knew that the amount of water that was in there would not add that much weight. So now we've seen it. So uh, now I can take this thing to the dump, throw it in the recycle. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I've only had to do that once before where I was changing out a big water heater and it was on the bottom floor 
of a house and the bottom floor was down an embankment so I had to go up probably about 40 or 50 stairs and uh, it was a 60 gallon water heater I believe and I just I just couldn't do it on my own so and I had no one around to help me out so I just uh, cut it in half just like I did there and took the two halves up separately you just need to make sure you have a metal sawzall blade for your sawzall um, and that one that I used today was actually an old uh, kind of dull one that's part of the reason I sped it up because uh, I guess it probably took about 10 minutes to do that all right well thanks for watching everyone and uh, we'll see you next time so yeah I got to take this out with a shovel because it's still so heavy I can't even lift it in the truck I think this is calcium deposits in here look at that eh even just that one shovel full weighs quite a bit you can see the bottom of the tank doesn't look rusty at all. It looks in nice shape. All right, I got that mostly cleaned out. But look at that. This bucket is overflowing. I wouldn't doubt it if that's 60 or 70 pounds. Now you can see this has got the old flanged elements too. With the four bolts and nuts. And that's how much scrap copper wire you get out of the tank. Let's get the ground here.